it is time once again for the Real People Multi-Game Solitaire Megatron. We're about to see some fights as Smudge, his amoebas, struggle to survive. One is not going to survive already. One is already starving. But there are three that are going to try to devour um, some of Flush's amoebas. Now, Flush's amoebas, they can fight back. They have defense. He would like to be in a space, actually, instead with one of Danimal's amoebas because they cannot fight back, but he's taking what he can get. So he's going to pay his BP, and we'll say he is going to eat right here. And Flush will go ahead and... I guess I'm supposed to do this in numerical order, so we'll do this one first. He's going to eat here. Uh, one of Flush's guys. Um, Flush will pay to fight back. Smudge got a four. And Flush got a six, so Flush is okay there. We'll move on to this one. He's gonna pay again. And Flush is maybe not gonna pay. And here's why. The reason why is he can just pay to eat him anyway. And Flush would like to use his money for something else. You know, if I, I really could pause and like think out Flush's turn for him, but I just don't have the time right now. So I'm going to say Flush is Flush will go ahead and fight back. Yeah. All right. So Smudge first, four against Flush's four. So Flush is okay. I believe he wins ties. And then we'll go over to here. And once again, Smudge does not want to fight there. He's been trying to get some more money so he's gonna let that go and starve all right we are moving into our death phase right now so that means we've done our genes new genes we have aggression and um, division rate division rate flush used to pop out a bunch of a bunch of amoebas he's making his move trying to get some points now um, we'll see how that works out for him uh, He's definitely been able to eat better than everyone else, but since everyone has such long lives, it's difficult for him to catch up. Um, aggression works kind of like struggle for survival. It has the abilities of struggle for survival, but it also gets to, he, uh, Smudge gets to attack one person during the death phase and just kill them. Um, so he'll do that after all the deaths are done. So our main deaths, we have this puddle, big puddle of food going to be right here as these fellows die off. And I guess I'll do that off camera. It's easier for me to manipulate the cubes that way. All right, so now Flesh, uh, there's our puddle. Now Flesh can uh, decide to uh, use his aggression against someone for one DP, I believe it costs. Um, so he probably wants to attack the person who's ahead of him. So that means he's going to want to attack Snugbug. His options are right here. Uh, if he attacks Snugbug, however, since Snugbug is armored, it doesn't automatically kill him. If he were to attack someone else, like, say, Danimal, who is a little bit further down to prevent D Danimal from catching up, um, Danimal would just be gone. But he can kind of beat Danimal anyway, and, he's, and Danimal's been avoiding him because Danimal has no defenses against his struggle for survival, which he had before. So he's going to go after Snugbug. Um, Snugbug's armored, which is the, the only defense against aggression. So he could attack him here, in which case he would just take one damage point, one bead, or here, which would kill him, or here, which would give him one bead. So I think he's going to kill him off, which also puts some food here, which is nice. It's going to be very nice. So he's going to go ahead and do that and kill off this person, and that's going to hurt Snugbug's score for the round, and that's the important thing. All right, scoring's happened. Uh, Smudge is, or not Smudge, Flesh is caught up a, a, quite a bit. He's one space away from Danimal. Really doesn't want to be in last place, though it would be better if he got first, right? Um, really was hoping to be able to overtake him that turn, because once you jump him, that's nice. But he gets first dibs on eating next turn. That's good. The bad thing is he's got a lot of cards here. He's probably going to have to drop something, maybe his ray protection, because you see we've got a lot of higher ozone cards coming up so the next card it could very well be one of those low ones i don't think we've seen a lot of low ones i think there's like a six in in the deck somewhere i don't know smudge is about to uh, finally get to place his lips around the succulent amoeba of flush um flush has no bp left to defend himself but he did parasite most of smudge's bp so that's the only time he's going to be able to do that this turn that's going to give us one of each color down there and that's one satisfied amoeba all right 
This one's gonna go down. Yellow, green, blue. Flush has got to either get rid of his parasitism or his division rate. We have a new um, ozone layer that's more restrictive. I think this this last turn he used parasitism a lot. It really helped him. It helped him keep Smudge from eating him up too bad. Um, and it's just, yeah, division rate would be nice because he needs to get the points. But by keeping, he's got, you know, he can get he can get another one out right now. If he gets rid of division rate, if he has division rate, he can get two more out after this round, which would give him another two points. Bringing him up. Yeah, it's two points first. But with this, he can keep things in play. But the game's getting close to being done. I think he's actually going to get rid of parasitism. Parasitism. I don't know why I say it. parasitism. Uh, instead, because game's going to be done soon. And this one's more of a short-term uh, benefit to Flush. Death phase. Smudge decided to kill one of flushes this time he wasn't able he wasn't in the same space to, where he could add a bead to one of uh, snug bugs in order to take him out and flush he could do it to danimal he could take out one of danimal's fellows but he decided on flush because flush has been really annoying him with his parasitism uh, parasitism parasitism uh and he can always get danimal later just by using his struggle for survival so let's go ahead and score up now we're getting close to the end pro uh, okay so snug bugs first one two three four five six six there uh that's gonna give him five and he's got uh, what's worth three cards so that's another one so that gives him six points one two three four five six on the homeward track maybe another two rounds i'm thinking and then Smudge, he's got five on the board. Five's kind of the magic number. You want to have five, at least, on the board there, because that, that's where you get the big jump of two points. And then he only has two cards, however, so he's not going to get any points on that. So he's going to get four points. One, two, three, four. And then Danimal, he's one, two, three, four, five, six. That's going to be worth five points. And then card-wise, he has three. So he's got six points. That's very good. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then finally, flush three cards. That's a point there. And one, two, three, four, five, six. He would have had, he would have been the high score for the round if, if he hadn't just gotten devoured. Um, so that's going to give him six points as well. One, two, three, four, five, six. So he's not getting the boost he needs. Everyone's kind of staying the same amount in front of him. Uh, Smudge is the one who's losing ground, actually, if anybody. Saw some drifting, drifting, people drifting, eating. Um, one of Danimal's amoebas got eaten by Smudge, who was struggling to survive. Uh, then we got a very restrictive ozone card, and that caused uh, Snugbug and Flush both to discard their ray protection or to pay for it. The animal had to pay not only a biological point, but also his spores. Didn't figure he needed his spores so much anymore. Spores are useful in getting you somewhere where you can eat, or in staying away from the aggressive members of the ocean. Um, but the others are, are maybe more useful to him right now, and longevity especially. He, uh, since the game's about done, <coughs> he doesn't really need to worry about eating. He had, you know, any new amoeba he puts down had basically has three turns before it dies, and the game's probably going to end before then. So Spore is not so useful at this point. Exciting bit of scoring here. If we look, um, Snugbug, first and foremost, probably going to end the game next after next round of turns, right? He's two spaces away from the blue zone. So the only way for him not to do that is if he... I guess loses a bunch of amoebas, and it doesn't look like that's going to happen. So he's going to be in the blue zone next turn. Um, can anyone catch him? I don't know. Probably not. So Snugbug's probably going to be our winner. Doesn't seem like Smudge is in position. Uh, Flush, he was our big scorer, well, our, by one point last round, but that allowed him to catch up with Danimal, so he surpassed him. If he can keep that third place position, or maybe even get to second place, that's going to help him greatly in careers. You see, everyone fell down because they were tired of waiting for me to get back to the game. But we'll set them back up. You can kind of tell where their bases are. It, it's, it's less chaotic than it looks. So let's go through this last round, and then I think Primordial Soup will be done, and we can go back to careers.
which is where we all want to be. Danimal just moved. He has some bad news to share with you. He's going to be losing two different amoebas this round. Um, this one he actually tried to roll to move somewhere else with, but he rolled double ones. Uh, if you recall, he gets to roll two dice instead of one, but they were both one, which is the same direction as the drift. Terrible roll for him, though it would have been hard to get the right roll he, he needed to get here. This is where he wanted to be. Um, so that's, that's going to be some points he's going to lose, and that's going to be tough. I, I don't think he's going to be able to catch it back up, but we'll see. It's Flush's movement right now. Flush has two potential losses here, so we'll see what Flush can do about that. Scratch that, four potential losses. I was only looking here. I just declared something, uh, last little blipper, uh, without really having any data. I do that a lot, I'm sorry. Spoke too soon vis-a-vis -vis Danimal. Uh, Flush is gonna be losing one, two, three, this one right here. I ran out of beads, so I just took out the stick to remind myself to get rid of that one um, at the end of the round, and possibly more if he gets eaten. Um, but he does, he is saving up enough so he's going to buy a card, which should help his score. But still, that's going to, that's going to hurt him, hurt him pretty bad. Though he did have more amoebas out in the first place. All right, we continue to move our, our amoebas. Okay, I kind of sped through the last round because it didn't seem necessary to do all the little putting down the cubes because it wasn't going to matter. So I just kind of shorthanded it and came out with this result. Um, Flush didn't do so hot. He wasn't able to buy an extra card. He had to lose some BP because of the new um, uh, ozone layer. And he had to lose one of his cards, too. He had to lose his intelligence. So he, he just got knocked around pretty pretty good there. Uh, Danimal... Did all right, lost some people. Let's just go to scoring. I'm not even gonna go into all of this. It was, I was kind of blah, blah, blah. All right, so we'll start out here to see if the game indeed ends. I think it does one, two, three, four, five. And that's four points and he's got three cards. A lot of people who could afford it bought a card this last turn. So that's going to be uh, five points for Snugwood. One, two, three, four, five. And the game will indeed end. Um, Smudge was unable to get more than two cards. Remember, this one's worth two cards, uh, but he still has one, two, three, four, five, six amoebas on the board. That's going to give him five points. One, two, three, four, five. Not quite cracking 40. 39 horses for Smudge. And then we go to Flush, who's starting to make a comeback, but then started to falter. We'll see if he faltered enough for Danimal's happiness. One, two, three, four. Oh, this one died too. Four. That's that's two. He didn't break the. Uh, that's rough. I think the animal is gonna bring it in one, two, three. But he has three cards, so he's gonna take two as well. Wow. So flush barely squeaks out of third place. We're gonna go smudge or snugbug smudge, flush. The animal for biology school and we'll see how their college experience is next time on the real people's multi-game solitaire mega tournament careers